penis. Now, I don't want... I don't want changing your sound, you stupid vagina. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. <clears throat> right. Welcome back. We can go right where we left off last time. In the water. In the water. I've um, had a chance to go and compile the one before this now, and remember I commented that it seemed to be keeping the tracking and stuff. Uh, it was still slightly out. In the end, I actually used Audacity to increase the speed of my audio recordings by 0.2%. That's 0.2% which means that the audio recording is now actually slightly faster than the, uh, the video. But being ever so slightly faster, I mean, the, the audio recording ended up being about five seconds, finishing five seconds earlier than the video, so, you know, that. So it looks like that's going to work out quite nicely for me now. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, the video quality is still a little bit flaky. I'm having some issues with that. The thing is, I originally do, I originally was planning to, as I do with my other videos, I put them at 720, the DVI file. Um, mostly because the difference between, when it comes to video, the difference between 720 and 1080 is not nearly as much as people make it out to be, but the size big difference between a 720 and a 1080 file is significantly different. So I, tend, I generally do it as a 720 to save space. Plus when I put it on um, watching my jig, um, thing of me doings, um, blip, it compresses it down. So having a 1080 file is, a, is kind of pointless. Whereas a 720 is not compressed by as much. So I can look at that. Um, plus the fact that I'm, I'm mostly doing console games at the moment. And it's, again, I'm stretching them, I'm upscaling them, so I'd rather set them in a native. This obviously isn't native and I am upscaling it so much, which is why the quality of the video is a little bit iffy. But I'm trying to work ways around that, have some new ideas and how to deal with that as well. Which I will be trying out with this recording, so hopefully there won't be as much pixelation. I'm also now drinking tea without sugar. I'm beginning to kind of weirdly enjoy it. I know, it's bizarre, isn't it? There's something wrong with me. Um, no. Uh, no. So, where am I going then? Good question. Oh, can't show me along there. Along there. Um, let's see. Oh, hang on. There we go. Didn't see that at first. I didn't even think about that. Just didn't occur to me. So, where am I going anyway? Run, Jenny, run, Jenny, run, 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 Jennifer. Ah! Ah, I see, I see, said the blind Quiffen. Quiffen is a kitten with a quip, by the way, for those who don't know. Decided that some cats have quips. Some kittens have quips, and they are quippens. Yeah, I know, I come up with strange things sometimes. I wonder if I'll have the herbal diharia like I did last time. Yeah, it made a nice change for me to be quite, you know, 
talkative in one of my recordings. Uh, I've been a little bit on the quiet side in some of the earlier ones, as you may have noticed. What? what? Yeah. Hey, wait, is this just... That's what I just opened, isn't it? Oh, or is that graphical book? So, hey, so what good has that actually done me? Is it going to allow the Skeriticus to come through the end? I think that's pretty much all it's going to do, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Fair enough. You can go back up there, love. Go on back here to the water. Get it to the water. You add a water. She's currently floating underneath it. Yeah. <gasps> drowning! 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 No. Okay. Um, but what was Scree gonna be? I didn't, yeah, I didn't see anything else for him to do. Something about that room. Why am I talking with a Scottish accent? What do you do with this room, do you think? Could be. Could be. Yeah, perhaps he can climb up onto the wall or something. Well, oh, soon find out. Let's go grab him. Meanwhile, my cat's asleep at my feet. Well, sort of asleep at my feet, being you know, like, yeah. And all, you know, mugged out. Come on, Screeticus. Screezilla. Some thingy bubbles to pick up there. Yes, eat them, Bomb Dog. No, no. It's uh, an underwater prison from the looks of it. Flooded prison. Why is that reminding me of something? Silent Hill, perhaps, it's making me think of. It's the sort of thing that they do, isn't it? Hmm. I really hope that the Silent Hill games improve. The recent ones have been bobbins. Well, okay. Um. Downpour was Bob, and not downpour. Uh, thingy Bob. Homecoming was absolute tosh. Downpour I played recently, actually. I recorded myself doing it as well, so I'll be uploading that at some point. Downpour was actually pretty good. It wasn't great, but it was decent. You know, it was reasonable. Um, shattered Dreams, Shattered Memories? Whichever one it was on the, the Wii. Now that was really good. A very different type of game, but that was that was good. As was um, I'm one of the few people who thought the Silent Hill Zero was actually an halfway decent game. Quite better, yes. It wasn't the best in the series, but it was good. It was all right. Well, so when you think about it, really, apart from Downpour. Not downpour, I keep saying downpour. Apart from homecoming, they have actually been halfway decent. It's just homecoming that's really let them down. Although, then again, they've been decent, not good. Not nearly as good as they used to be. That's kind of the problem. It's not so much that they're bad games, they're just extremely disappointing. Mm. The, they're, they're too easy, the, the moral choices are much too forced from the fact that it's just like, here you go, here's a moral choice, press this button to do the good thing that is blatantly good, press this button to do the bad thing that is blatantly bad. We need, they need more grey areas, they need more subtlety to them, like they used to have. Oh, thingy bobs. Good thing he's made a rock and can he die? And also you can do that, turn into stone so he can't be damaged. You can actually control that. I'm not sure if I've already showed that in um, one of the other. I have re oh, oh, excuse me. I have remember commenting on it in one of my other videos that you can do it. Oops. Too heavy. Okay. Too heavy for me. Um Oh, duh, why did not I feel right doof now. There's me walking around for some magical way to get Jen up here. Speaking of Jen, I remember in one of my previous videos I mentioned that I know a girl called Jennifer. 
Um, I, I uploaded or made that one public today. So I sent her a message about it earlier. She was told her it was her uh, Christmas present and was both, you know, making her famous and stuff. So for all of those like three people who actually watched this, <laughs> there aren't that many of you, are there? Okay, maybe not. So, oh, I can't put the book down. Huh. Okay, maybe I do need something. Am I just standing too far? Huh. Um, so what then? Huh? I half remember those things having something to do with it. <laughs> Can I climb up and you can go up to the ceiling maybe and do something with them up there? No? Um Huh. Now it's kind of oh maybe maybe she climbs up there? No, not that way. Um hmm. Now it's it's the thingy about there, uh, the, like she, the way she shimmies along, so it seems that, that this has something to do with it. Come on, I must be able to put the, throw the rope down somewhere. Mm -hmm. No? Yes? Maybe? Over there perhaps there are a thingy about there. There's a dab 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 derp 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 called barrel. There's a barrel over there. Uh, maybe I can climb up on the other side. But I, I kind of remember these dangling cages having something to do with it, but I could be remembering a completely different game for all of them. At least it's not Bond music for once. It's from The Incredible Hulk, by the way, from the 1980s, the television program. I've been watching it recently. I'm pretty sure I've commented on that already somewhere on the way, but yeah. I've been watching that. Aha! Yes, it has something to do with those things. Yes. Oh, wrong button. Um. thing to do is to kind of line them up. Aha. Can we that one again? Nope. Um, and this one. Oh, uh, yeah, that one can move twice. Can they move left and right? Yes, they can. Right then. You move up and down the flag. Right then. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, 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 it's that one. It's that one. Right, it does have something to do with these things. I just have to figure out where I need them all to 
Final contour. You can climb up. Yes, you can climb up here. Uh, then climb up to this one. Yep, yes, you can indeed. Right, 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 right. Let's get up. There we go. And mark up. This way. Further now. Can she go anywhere from there? No. Wait, wait, wait. If you move it back one, you should be able to climb up onto that one. Yep. It's kind of a leapfroggy type thing. I actually don't remember this. Strange, thank you. I mean, well, I I remember having to do something with it, but I don't remember having to do some more. That's pretty cool. That doesn't seem to be able to move up and down. Definitely move. I'm going to up enough that she can jump onto it. I'm going to take that one as a yes. Look down, Jennifer. Grab the thing you got that way. Will it go that way? No, it won't. Okay. So I'm going to move the other one over to it then. This one. Yep, there we go. And then move it up. Nope. In that case, move this one. Back doomed. Dun dun dun. Looks like fun actually, doesn't it? I want to do this. The climbing on these weirdy things. It's fun. I like this kind of thing. Okay. No, fair enough. I think she should be just fine. That one, she's going to have to jump across to, I think. And this one can't be moved up anymore from it. Yes, it can. Fair enough. Across we go. Oh, no, not drop down. It's a jump. Go away. Go on. Move. Move. Got to jump across. There we go. Yeah. Uh, is it this one can move to it? Okay. And And I think once more and we're pretty much summer. What we need to do now is move this one over to there. That lines up with that chapter. And then she should There we go. Sauced it. Go on, come across that. Oh, down. Oh, there we go, thank you. Why didn't I do that the first time? Or the second time? Why did I have to do it twice? Three times? Four times? Seventeen times? One hundred and eight times? Six hundred million four hundred and two. Something like that, anyway. Ah, it's done, anyway. That little bit of music there keeps reminding me of aliens. 
I've been reminded of, of our mind before in this game, though, haven't I? That, those underwater reactory things that remind me of the terraforms. Hmm. And the, um, the eggs as well in that level also reminded me of the eggs from Alien. Okay, why is it? Oh, I don't remember him wading through there early. I don't remember there being a dick. Maybe I just missed that, missed, missed? Maybe I just missed that specific spot. Mished. Maybe I just mished it. Ha 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 ha. Mished it. Dun, 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 dun. What are those things I'll be back for, I wonder? Carry things, obviously, but what things? I don't even know. I kind of like those watchamabobs on the stormtroopers. People have hypothesized that they're for a thermal detonator. This would make sense. Anyway, you're now about to see how the uh, the Wraith farm fights. As you've already seen me do some underwater fighting, you've seen me fight as a fair eye. Now let's see what the Wraith can do. Come here, big lad. Come here, big yin. Oi! 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 Do something there, thank you. Yeah, she has a sword and a whip. Proper dominatrix. I know it's dominatrix. It's, um, a documentary I saw once. This woman who said that she was just an idiot. All the people working for her, she had to make up stories about them being like part Russian and part German because the people paying for it were into that kind of thing. Like, yes, we tell her this news. And she kept saying, Dominatrix! I was like, you know, remind me never to go there. Well, I was particularly into that kind of thing. Anyway, if I was going to do it, I'd do it at home with them. You know, I pay for it, but not fine. Still, it's dishonest. Anyway, yes. He's a bit, he's a bit kinky, this one! Oi! Oh! That hit in the head. Oh, one hitting me from behind gave it a chance to recover. Come on, gotcha. No, kill it. Oh, for pity's sake. So yeah, this tends to be my go-to transformation. The fair eye one for moving around, but this one definitely for combat. And then look at the fact, not only the fact that it's faster, does a lot of spinning attacks, but also the whip has a longer reach, so I mean, it's common sense. Of course, then there's the whole um, the dodge thing that you can do. You haven't done that. Yeah, yeah. But um, as Streak commented, it has had an impact on her personality. Not all for the better. Makes her more aggressive. Come on, Scree, collect all the stuff. Come on. There we go. Good lad. Well, that reminds me, do I need to kill any of my others? Have that full. Ah, I need some more ferri energy. What about Undyne? Also, I need a little bit of Undyne. Nope. We're not getting in this way. I don't think not. Is it just me or is she also thinner in the um, in the Wraith farm? Fair eye makes her a little bit broader and more stocky of build. Those make sense. They are more feral, more animalistic. The Undyne one, she's kind of streamlined. I really like the way they show her pigtails in the Undyne match. The fact that they turn into little flippers. I think that's... I think that's actually really quite clever. Also, the, the fact that she's telepathic and stuff is kind of useful. I might need your help here. So go get the incredible Hulk. You'd be able to shift it, no problem. What? Okay. Uh, what has that actually done? Has that opened the door outside, or? Could it be something to do with that? Oh, come here, Scree. 
Let's get this. Come on. Wait, you go. Fair enough. Um, could be that door that I just saw then. I'm pointing at it, like you can see where I'm pointing. I just quick check. It's either this door here, which it doesn't appear to be, or that gate down at the end there. And it's the gate down at the end there. Hey, I'm going to have to do my funky wraith hours, which would explain why there's a really healthy, healthy thing there. Uh, let's see. Is it this door? Is it? Yes, it is indeed. It took quite a lot of health for me to reach it. Now screw trapped on the other side. I can't let you in! Let me out! Let me out! I'm trapped in here! Yeah, I could just yeah, pull him through that. Or I could have left him on the other side, drained energy from him. And then had it refilled because it was one of those things off on the other side. I think. Then again, there's also a stone thing for him to pick up here. Come on! Come and grab this, lad. Oh no, it's not stuff. Well, whatever. It's energy anyway. Not really running oh, short on it, so... There we go, there's a stone. Good. Go on, then. Eat it. Absorb it into your chest, my boy. My boy. Andreas can't sue us. What's That's in there, almost three That's times my age. Chamber, I'd say. Last place what? we want to find ourselves. Are they speaking French? Why have we been at this for half an hour already? I don't know. Sounds like Sounds a place like to be. Let's check it out. Okay, that's my cup. But it's weird, there's nobody here. Ooh, listen to her. You lose your head and you're nobody oh. all of a sudden. You are nobody, you stupid head. I remember this now. Better a pup than be born in a sewer. <laughs> We're all equal now, though, aren't we? You reek a You reek a reek. Your lot and lift my arms up. I feel a big mouth of yours in a fist! Quiet, everyone! Quiet! Kind of. Quiet! Are you here? Guards! Guards, intruders! Kind of appropriate that Andreas Katsu was in there. You bastard! Now they'll end up like us, you idiot! See, he was, um, he was also in Babylon 5. And in one of the episodes of Babylon 5, Emperor Cartaja, played by Warp and Trimmer, Emperor of the Centauri Republic, had a bunch of um, other people on his desk, but at the heads of them. And um, Andreas Katsuos was in that, he played Narn. Narn being the ancestral enemies of the Centauri. Very good show, actually. I remember watching it when I was a kid, well, when I was in my early to mid-teens and thinking it was really great. Then I watched it again a few years later and I thought, my god, this is cheesy. And then I watched it again a few years after that and I thought, you know what, no, it's not. It's very... It's... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not convincing, maybe. Not unconvincing, maybe. A word that means it's... Deceptively. It's deceptively light-hearted in a lot of places and it makes it seem like cheese. I mean, it has its share of cheese, but there's nothing out wrong with that. A bit of cheese never do uh, a few on now. Oh, it's a bit of cheese, I guess. I had some cheese earlier, actually. I had some rice with, um... Stabby, stabby, stabby food. Stab you in the face! Oops. I had some cheese, um, I had some rice with um, butter and cheese. Just, yeah, that's it, just some nice boiled basmati rice with a little bit of butter in it, melted into it, and some cheese grated across the top. 
really just me, or were they a lot easier than they really should have been, considering that. Ooh, close down. Looking good. Go on, man. I'll need Scree to help me with this. Ah! Ah, no wonder I just did it. They've been very scrawny. Like I said, they're quite blatantly a species of goths. We see here the goth in its natural habitat. Yeah, that was a really dodgy impersonation. I don't even know who that was supposed to be. Was that supposed to be Richard Attenborough? I probably still with David Bellamy. I was always better at Bellamy than Crush. Does anybody remember David Bellamy anymore? He's not in the news the way he used to be, but then again. I don't know about outside of the UK, but over here, if he turns up doing something for the National Trust, people pay attention. Even though he's not famous like he used to be, he's known for getting a job done, shall we say. Because he's very passionate about it, and also knows a lot of people. Plus, well, he just knows how to. Even though he may not be that well known and more he's still well looked, a lot of people, like myself, still remember him. Stab! 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 Okay. Ah, I'm oh, talking to people. That's like, you killed him. He was one of the worst. Used to love the racking. Oh, yes. Is that Kate Mulgrew? Looks like Kate Mulgrew. She says, thanks. He cut her tongue out. Vicious bastard. You'd better hurry. Get away while you can. Hey, guys. This is very... Hey, listen. Do yeah. any of you know anything about the blood sacrifices and where that happens? That's real. Well. He's a traitor. Will you be quiet, fuck? Oh, magnifique! The garlic! Remember? We are not on the count side anymore. None of us will not sacrifice them. They're kept elsewhere. I do know Count Raum as a machine. He turns a lot of blood into a sort of elixir. He told me he could never be defeated unless that machine were destroyed. And then he chopped your head off. <laughs> It was the Countess that removed my topmost point, Dan Bratz. What's the difference between a room full of aristocrats and a bucket of manure? <laughs> well, uh, we'd better be going now. Come on, Jim. Thank you. Good luck. Very surreal. Very rather amusing in a hard and rather disturbing kind of way. I think I suppose they are friends. <sighs> right, now then. Come over here, Screeticus. Get this stuff. Yay, another one of massive cards. Come here. Come drain these life out of these people. It's kind of... You know, there's a bit of stuff there. Is it like the whole shadow self and, um, you know, these darker impulses and stuff? Which is literally draining the life from these people. Is that part of... Oh, okay. Fair enough. Is that like part of the subtext showing that she's draining the energy out of them, she's bringing balance back, perhaps, or showing that she's slowly becoming the very thing she's fighting against. I'm going to have to look into that a lot more, actually. I keep meaning to do some more reading nope. about Young. We're not getting in this but, way. Um, it's just one of those things. I, I read a lot of psychology when I was in school, and um, in college, in high school. Read it as a hobby. I have a habit of doing odd, odd things and hobbies. At the moment, my hobby is string theory, so I started reading up on string theory. 
Yes, I know. It's such a, a nice, light thing to, to keep me occupied, isn't it? I love watching a lot of videos by Mitchell Castle. It's just fantastic. Mitchell Castle, you know, the best guys, people like that. I've got a bee in my bonnet about it at the moment. It's one of those things, I suppose. Is that where I came in? I mean, that one over there I just unlocked, so I'm guessing that's where I'm supposed to go away. So, is this the one I came in through there? Um, if so, why was it closed behind me? Yeah, this is the one I came in. So how, how did it close? Like, magnificent horsepower to close itself. I don't know, did I close it with my mind? Did Scree close it? Did his little tail flick behind us? And he was like, ha ha, I have magic powers. Did they do it? Oh yeah, watch this. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, apparently I am mistaken. I could have sworn I was. What is that? Is that some kind of alien thing? Oh, it looks like a, a skull. That's decomposed and stuff. But I thought they, I thought they actually moved and followed you on here. Walking around with the skull made must be thinking of something else then. But I remember a game with severed heads or something like that where they actually swivel and follow you when you, when you move around. But yeah, how do they move anyway? I mean, they're no. decapitated skulls, decapitated heads, bonces, craniums. So, and they're on poles. Never mind that, how do they speak? They have no lungs. Scrummy reader, but they have no wounds, so how would they be able to pass air through the barracks? Yeah. 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 Having a fight next to a rift guy. Pretty cool, right? Kind of atmospheric and stuff. Yeah. Uh. I don't know why, but for some reason this is reminding me of Avatar The Legend of Aang, which could possibly actually just be because I um, was watching a little bit earlier. Ouch! Stop doing the spine! Wait, are they female or are they male? It's difficult to tell. That, that one I'm pretty sure is female. It looks like the breastplate has what well, the shape of breasts in it. A literal breastplate. But um I don't know, they're so scrawny and gangly. Could be both. Could easily be either. Either or not, so to speak. Oh god, he's doing the same noise as Floaty Dude was making. This is not floating, it's Floaty Dude, right? He's actually being useful at this time. Now, that's not all attacks can do. And so it's not even dark. I should really make use of the whip, so I can keep a range that way. Stab him! Stab him! Stab! Brutal! Fatality! Gentality! <laughs> yeah, okay, never mind. I <laughs> That tickled me for some reason. I'm not even entirely sure why. So at least I'm not freaking out like I was yesterday. I was going off crazy because like, things weren't going the way I wanted them to. Yeah, I gotcha! Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like a bloody corpse. I'll need Scree to help me with this. I'll need Scree. Get it then, you dozy this. moo. You, corpse man, move out of the way. Scree, go pick that up. Muppet. 
Pick it up! Thank you! No. Now give me some noms! Because I'm I'm in the noms. Come on. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. Now come get the noms. Get your noms. He's injured the lad. Where did he get the sword from though? That's what I want to know. He was um He's obviously some kind of escaped prisoner, and he, he doesn't even have clothes. Is it, what is it? Bruce Banner? Is he the Incredible Hulk? I mean, I was wearing his pair of trousers. And he looks a bit worse for the wear. He's injured. He's managed to escape from a prison. Scrawny wee guy. He's escaped from a prison. He's got a sword. It's the Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Wraith. The Wraith Credible Hulk? I don't know. Something like that. I've also noticed that these Wraith people give quite a lot of energies. Itchy four, itchy four, itchy, 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 itchy four, and I have something inside my sock. Right, anyway, I'm sure you really wanted to know that. Um, where am I going now? Oh, hello, where did you come from? Have you been here this entire time? Okay, I'm pretty sure that one may work. Reminded me of the um, creatures from EYE Divine Cybermats, actually. I want to play that. I did start playing it before my computer was taken. I didn't really get all that far. I only really played it long enough for something to do with Steam. It was um, a certain section of it that at the time, if you killed enemies, you were able to pick a Christmas present. And if you got one, they gave you a ticket for the, the Christmas thing you mumbled. Ow, stabbing him in the shoulder! Ow! But yeah, but, um, it was fun whilst I was playing it. Well, I did play it, but I quite enjoyed it. I just never got around to finishing it. I had other things on my mind at the time. I think it was, I think it was whilst I was playing Dead Space, actually. But yeah, um, stopping things. Yeah. Here we go. Yep. Don't just stand there. This thing weighs a ton. Alright, we have the Incredible Hulk with us. The Wraith Credible Hulk. The Incredible Wraith Hulk. Yeah, I'm gonna stop now. Yeah, those Wraiths sure have a hell of a lot of energies. Energies. When they are murdered. I need more tea. I've actually almost adjusted to having it without sugar now. Which is kind of a good thing. Ooh. Right. I have 15? Oh. Okay then. Fair enough. And there's a there, which I don't need. There are imprisonated thingy look. This is reminding me again, actually, of the um, Legacy of Cain. But this is reminding me of a specific part in um, Blood Element 2, where you go into a prison with emaciated alien creatures, emaciated Hilden I think it is, where you meet, you you go and you meet somebody and you get a special power or something. Maybe you must play those games again. Maybe even let's play them. Which reminds me, I've actually decided which two games I'm going to be doing next. I'm not going to say just yet. In case I change my mind, but I'm, at the moment I'm pretty much set on which turn I'll be playing. Or one of them is for a hundred percent. So um, I bought it like a year ago. Oh wait, it's one of the um, the arcade games, as in Xbox Live Arcade on PSN. I, I, I don't know it's on the PSN. Anymore. I have it on the Xbox, the Xbox Live Arcade anyway. So. I bought it like a year ago uh, when it was first released. Locked. And I haven't got around to playing it yet. Um, so that's what I'm going to be playing. That's one of the ones I'm going to be playing. Because if anybody who's been paying, anybody who has been paying attention, I said I'm going to start doing two games at a time, loading them in tandem because it's more interesting for me. And for lots of You'll see me doing more than one game of what? Oi! Your dish! Your name! 
Uh. Ouch! Did you see that? I took like a quarter, maybe even a third of her health all in one hit. No! Did I get in time? Yes, I did. Cool. Stab! Stab! Ah, in the kidneys! He's done well for himself. Look at that, he's almost killed her as well. Nice! Why they're chained to the wall? That's that's quite sad actually. Um, is there any, I don't know where I'm at. Hey. Three? Where are you, lad? There you go. Come here. Give me some noms. Oh, no, no. And you get some noms. Come on. Get some. And go and get this load down. Yeah, let me get that. As soon as the Wraith Credible Hulk moves out of the way. I uh, can't go through there, can't go through there, so back upstairs. <clears throat> I made the right choice on which direction to go. I thought they were just like two sides and they'd both lead to the same thing. But apparently not. Ah! There you go, counter attacking me, women. I'll counter attack you. And I'll do it better than you, because I'm. I have a whip. Purple Retro Whip. Kind of like the one in um, Thingy Masters of the Universe. Good film. Highly underrated. Highly, highly underrated film. Not a great film, but a good. I think the only problem people really had with it is they, they did the, the sci fi thing a bit too much. Most people think that He Man has been more fantasy. They forget the fact that his. Um, his mother was actually a space traveller. She was an explorer who crash landed on a tour. It was, you know, one of those future fantasy type things. A bit like Final Fantasy series. A mix of both. Which is why they did the adventures of... Which one was it? The, the New Adventures of Human, I think it was called. Which was actually set in space. But yeah, um, if you, I don't know who's seen it, but in the film they actually use like, an electronic whip thing to, to whip He-Man. After he's been captured, and I think the main reason people have a problem with the film, I will get to the point eventually, is because he was He Man the whole way through. He didn't ever do Joe and Nevada. Good film, though. It's a really good film. Very underrated. I enjoyed it. And I thought the guy they cast for Skeletor, never mind the makeup, makeup's fantastic. The guy they cast for it, he was, he was really scary. They made a nice change to see um, Skeletor being efficient rather than just being <laughs> I'll get you He-Man! It, it kind of ruined the character a fair bit in those cartoons. I noticed that was a problem I had with a lot of um, 80s Saturday morning television. They, the bad guys just weren't... They, they failed every time and they were kind of whiny. Even Megatron was kind of whiny. Um, you know in the Transformers. The, 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 in fact, even in one of the episodes, I think it was several episodes, Starscream is, no. takes the, royally takes the piss out of me, like, let me guess, which we? Because that's all he ever did, he's like, we failed, run away! <laughs> or if you ever read the comic, Megatron was lethal. And he was not just a comedy villain, he was, he was tough. The Starscream as well, they made him out to be a bit of a weakling in the big um, cartoons. You're like, why is this guy second in command again? Well, if you read the comics, Starscream was one of the most powerful Decepticons that ever lived. The only reason he wasn't able to take Megatron is because Megatron was just smart enough to realise. That's why he was second in command. Uh, enemies close and all that stuff. And also because he was a coward. I don't know what any of that has to do with all of this. Come on, screen. Get it there. And I will get you. I will eat your noms, because I am nom nom. Give me your nominus. I need your nom. Om nom 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 nom. And then you get your nom. Goodbye. Right, now, where do I use this? 
Turns out there's nothing down here. Well, there's a lot of stone, I suppose. So, it wasn't a wasted journey. I did lose a little bit more health than I would like, which was weird. I lost more health down there than I did upstairs. They did in the other room, there were three of them. No? Oh, I'm not just. Wait. Where am I going now? Um. Back upstairs, I suppose. Come on. Come on. Thank you. <sighs> that was me pressing circle and square and triangle and stuff, trying to... Oh, I'm not being here. Oh. Good. Get there. Let me get that. can possess that. Yep, yep, yep. I would appear then that that is what I'm supposed to do, is possess that thing as Screeticus. The Screetillion. And open the place. Why is he all the way back wherever he is? Very zigzag. Um, do I have to make this fall over? I half remember making it fall over to break the door open. Something like that. Press X to give, yeah. Like that. Dun dun, 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 oh almost, it'd be kind of annoying if you fell the wrong way wouldn't it, dun dun, well, that's how you want it. Go. No, keep getting the timing wrong. It's almost there as well. Go. There we go. Oh, I get it. I'm supposed to do it just before it goes forward. Oh, 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 there we go. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. And then there are people. Why is it? Nice funk set of armor though, I have to say. Ah! You, oh, the camera's part, thank you. That's one of the, the problems I had with gaming from this sort of era. Camera control was a little bit flaky. That's not being. Yeah, that's being. Um, it's been extremely forgiving. And again, even these days, a lot of games still have that. Will you start backing away? I have a whip, you have a sword, which means you should be the one trying to move in. I should be the one trying to back away, because I have the range advantage. And again, I suppose trying to move out of range is a valid tactic. And any, yeah, trying to get away from my extra range, I suppose. And again, that's... Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Dude. Oh, sorry, mate. I almost murdered him. Stop getting in the way, then, you dozy moo. Ow. Yeah, whatever you say, Chief. I see now this one's not backing away. Still annoyingly out of range a lot of the time, but not backing away, or it's not as much. Oh, was that dodge thing that you can do as a way to get by the way. Gotcha. Ow! Stabbing her in the bottom! Ow! Ow, 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 then again, I suppose it's dead, but ow! I've been in the bomb! In the bomb bomb! In the bomb 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 ba dum ba dum bomb ba bomb 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 ba dum ba dum bomb. I'll tell you what, that guy is tough! Considering he's like 
limping and stuff, and he's a prisoner, and he's quite clearly emaciated, even by great standards. He's a tough. Okay, just stand there then. Now don't try and help your compatriots. Apparently I can't. Oh, I can. Um, yeah. Anyway, I've just received a phone. Well, a text message actually. You'd have heard it, but received a phone. So I'm going to finish these two off. And I'm gonna have to call this one a day. For now, at least. It's a fair bit shorter than I originally anticipated, but you know, real life happens. I'll try and get on more in a little bit and do some more recording. It's not like I'm leaving you. I mean, I, I only upload two videos a day anyway, so it doesn't make that a matter, it not a difference. It's just the principle of the thing, right? This year, all my, my special people are in this book. Ooh. Oh. Alright, come here, Scrape. Let me get some health from you. Let me uh, then you go drain those two. Uh, I'll also have a quick scout around, then I'm going to save it. And take a break. For now, I have things I need to do. Real life happens. Basically, so yeah. Yes, that's it for now then. <sighs> All that remains to say is, uh, uh, pardon me. Uh, thank you for watching. Even if you didn't. <laughs>